Hi guys, I've got a couple of solar projects I want to do. I've got one here from Ruben Malado, or Malado, wants me to make a solar charger for a mobile. Uh, at the moment I haven't got the right sort of solar panel. I've picked up this battery backup uh, unit for MP3s and mobiles, it says here. Requires four AAA batteries and it sticks the power out on the USB lead there. So my plan will be to put a little solar panel to actually charge the AAA batteries in there so that they can then feed the USB lead. But at the moment I don't have the right sized solar panels to do that. So sorry about that. Instead of that, what I think I'll do is just do one of my solar conversions of a very cheap toy car, or as this one is, a builder's truck. Because I saw this in the bargain store, saw that it had got convenient axles that we can get to easily, so I should be able to put a gear on the back axle and use the solar panel and the electric motor that's inside this fluttering dragonfly garden ornament. I've used these for a few of my conversions, so I'll see if I can do that. First of all, we'll open the box. That's the solar panel, and that's the electric motor. And very simply, there's a couple of wires in there that go straight to the motor. And when it's switched on, I'll just stick a bit of tape on there so you can see. Just a bit of sticky tape, insulation tape. Okay. Put my light on. And there we go. So I'll put a gear on there. A bigger gear on the back axle of the car and see if we can get enough power to drive the car or truck as it is. So there's our electric motor and there's the connections to the solar panel. Right, I've put a 1k resistor across the terminals and I've got my meter set to volts, 20 volts as it happens. So just in normal room light I'm getting 30 millivolts, is it? Well, 300 millivolts. 0.3 of a volt. <laughs> yes. And if I put my bright light on it, we're getting about 1.2 volts. There we are. I've extended the wires. And I've put a nice layer of hot glue there to stop the wires pulling on the actual um, solder terminations so we don't accidentally stress them and break them. So, now we'll open this up. See what we can do by putting a gear wheel on here and a gear on there. I've got a nice gear wheel here. That comes out of one of these. A dynamo torch. And that gear comes out there as well. I've taken one of these apart recently for a different project and I've saved the gears. I'll need to drill this one out a bit so it will fit over that axle. But that gear, which I'll, I'll trim the excess off, but that's a good push onto there. 
So that'll go on there, that'll go on there. Just hot glue the motor onto the inside of the chassis there somewhere and we should be away. I've drilled the centre of that gear wheel out. That's a good stiff push fit on there. Coming on nicely. Got the big gear in place. I've trimmed that um, little gear. All the extra bits that were sticking out, trim that. So all I'm going to do is hot glue that in place. And then join the wires up. There we are. All done, all in place. I put a couple of spacers on the axles just to make sure that the gear wheel couldn't move too far either side. So, give it some light. So the wheels turn. The question is, will it actually move? That looks like that works. have to wait for another sunny day to go and try it out. So, job done.